Mumbai, formerly known as Bombay, is a city rich in history and diversity. Amidst its bustling streets and soaring skyscrapers lies a legacy that dates back almost four centuries. A legacy of community, culture and resilience. An introduction to Bombay is left half-baked without the understanding of one of its oldest and perhaps most loved communities, the Parsis. At the heart of this vibrant city, there exists many Parsi institutions and amongst them, the institution that has stood the test of time, bearing witness to the highs and lows of Mumbai's Parsi community's history, the Bombay Parsi Panchayat. Hello, I'm Hoshang Gotla, and I welcome you to another episode of Mazda Multimedia's We Hear You Season 2, Episode 4. Today, let's go through an overview about the Parsi Irani Zoroastrian community's apex body, the Bombay Parsi Panchayat. Referring to the book written by late Shapur F. Desai, History of the Bombay Parsi Panchayat, 1860 to 1960, late Shapur Desai mentions the ideation of setting up individual panchayats for each religious community was a concept thought in 1670 by the then British governor, late Gerald Augier, a circumspect and a thorough administrator who believed it was not an easy job to rule a foreign population with their own religious and social mores. He asked all communities living in Bombay to form their own social organizations to govern their own people, keeping law and order within the bounds of government. All communities form their own bodies called panchayat. With the passing of each century, all panchayats died out, except the BPP that stood the test of time and weathered all storms and difficult periods, adapting itself to the changing times. According to late Shapur Desai, also mentioned in his book, the birth of the Parsi Panchayat of Bombay could be placed anywhere between 1672 and 1675. BPP, the backbone of Mumbai's Parsis. The trust operates from its main administrative office, which is located in the Sir JJ School at Fort, and its sub-office situated within Kharigat Colony. The two offices have a staff strength of 68 employees and 210 class 4 workers managing various departments of the trust, which include welfare, housing, estate, accounts, admin, engineering, maintenance, legal, secretarial, projects, etc. Further, the BPP is armed with the support of colony or bag managers deputed to manage the day-to-day -day workings of the bags. BPP, one of the biggest landlords of Mumbai. The BPP is one of the largest non-governmental landlords in the city of Mumbai. And this prime land of 55 acres situated in the heart of South Mumbai is the Dungarwadi or the Towers of Silence at Kemp's Corner. It is sacred land which is used for the disposal of the community's dead by the religiously mandated and ecologically time-tested system of Dok Menishini. The Dungarwadi land is considered as the lungs of South Mumbai as it is an area of lush greenery in the midst of a concrete jungle. 
but maintaining this vast area is a formidable task. There are bunglies where the last rites and ceremonies are performed. The staff strength of 43 personnel, which include managers, supervisors, and 17 khandiyas or pallbearers are also an integral part of the Dungarwadi as they carry the corpses to the Dakmas, which are the consecrated wells where the bodies are placed for disposal by sunlight and birds of prey. There are seven upper bunglies and four lower bunglies along with two separate pavilions which are being taken care of. A task to upkeep is a mammoth one, one can only say. BPP providing housing. Apart from the Dungarwadi lands, the BPP has residential pockets known as bags or colonies exclusively for housing Parsi Iranis restaurants. And these also include the five Wadia bags which are looked after by the Wadia Committee of Management. The Bombay Parsi Panchayat manages Kharigat Colony, Godrej Bagh, Gamadia Colony, Captain Colony, Nawajbai Contractor Bagh, Khan Estate, Dhanbai Wadi, Bharucha Bagh, Panthaki Bagh, and the Parsi Panchayat Complex in Goregaon. Apart from this, the BPP manages 14 standalone buildings in Dadar, Parel, Mahim, Bhaikala, etc. 2,774 families are housed in these bags and stand-alone buildings. The Wadia bags are Nauroz Bag, Rustam Bag, Jar Bag, Khushru Bag, and Nes Bag. These five Wadia bags provide accommodation to 1,499 families in tenements ranging from one room to five rooms at very nominal rents. The total strength of Parsi Irani Zoroastrians living in these colonies comes to around 4,273 Parsi Irani Zoroastrian families. BPP administers various other trusts. Besides the major properties that it governs, the BPP administers various other trusts such as the Seth Pistanji F. Dawa Charitable Trust which provides education and medical help, the Bai Sunabai and Seth Behramji Sorabji Parsi Boys Hostel a residential hostel for students residing out of Mumbai, the FS Park Dharamshala, which is a home for senior citizens situated at Kharigat Colony, the Godavra Agyari at Fort, which was completely renovated and restored in 2019, the Shapurji Fakirji Jokhi Agyari at Godrej Bagh, the FD Alpaiwala Museum, at Kharigat Colony, which will have a grand opening shortly and will be showcasing Parsi culture. The Lady Hirabai Kawasji Jangir Health Unit at Gamadia Colony, which is a hospice for patients with chronic ailments requiring care. The Memorial Column and Dharamshala at Sanjan. The Bai Nawajbai, Bamji Sanatorium and Chawl in Nausari, where the BPP has constructed three buildings only for Parsis. The liaison committee at Chikkalwadi, which investigates applications for various trusts. BPP, other activities. This brings into focus many more such BPP initiatives and activities, some of which are known to the community and some 
which go unheard of. The BPP supports financially disadvantaged community members by providing monthly financial support to over 500 community members. The BPP always supports educational causes and strives to push the youth towards excellence. One of the most successful programs of the Bombay Parsi Panchayat is its month-long program HPY, the Holiday Program for Youth. This is for children who have passed their 10 standard exams and are on the threshold of their future college life. Another activity of the BPP that is not widely known is that it distributes kasti wool to needy Parsi ladies who weave kastis and further helps them sell the kastis. The BPP has been providing medical help to deserving community members. BPP Prioritizing Community Affairs The BPP functioning isn't restricted to the administration and running of its bags and various other properties and trusts. The standing of the Bombay Parsi Panchayat is extended towards community affairs concerning the government and bureaucrats. One such example is the timely intervention of the BPP in addressing the potential risks that the community might face through the implementation of the Uniform Civil Code or the UCC in terms of succession, adoption, guardianship, marriage and divorce. In keeping with the government's deadline to provide suggestions, the BPP took a proactive step and convened a meeting that had the clergy, legal advisors and concerned community members in attendance and the concerns of the community were sent to the Law Commission in Delhi. The trustees were invited by the Law Commission for a meeting to discuss the apprehensions and concerns regarding the UCC. This meeting was held on 21st August 2023. Another very important function of the Bombay Parsi Panchayat is its role as the head of the FPZAI, the Federation of Parsi Zoroastrian Anjumans of India. It coordinates and acts as a bridge between the various Anjumans of India and is involved in trying to safeguard community properties, especially in places where there are few or no Parsis residing. BPP sincere drive towards incomplete projects. There are so many projects which were stalled since many years which have now been taken up on a war footing. The third building at Bamji Sanatorium at Nausari, where registration of flats, shops and offices is now underway. Talks have also commenced between the management of the Parsi Lying in Hospital and the Bombay Parsi Panchayat Trustees to resolve the Parsi Lying in Hospital stalemate. The Barucha Bag Development Plant is being actively pursued. The HPCL petrol pump at Hughes Road, which is poised for an amicable settlement. BPP challenges and working towards solutions. The BPP is going through a financial crisis. Its income by way of rent, service charges or interest on FDs is way less than its expenditure. There are projects in the pipeline which will generate income for the Bombay Parsi Panchayat but it will take time. Till then, it is going to be tough and challenging for the BPP to meet its financial commitments. The legal expenses on cases is prohibitive and the present BPP board is trying to settle as many cases as possible in amicable and mutually acceptable terms. There are many flats which have been kept locked and unoccupied in colonies and bugs, and the BPP is taking legal recourse in many cases 
to try to get possession of those flats so that deserving Parsi community members waiting for housing can be allotted flats. Support the BPP to support the community. Indeed, the diverse work profile of the BPP is too vast to do justice to it in just one episode. For seven trustees who work in their honorary capacity, it is an uphill Herculean task. However, this more so justifies the need for the community to march forward and extend their support back to the trust that offers us so much. The support that the BPP Trust so desperately needs need not necessarily be monetary, but can also be provided through ways of professional advice, services and consultations of various aspects that the community members may be experts in and feel that their contribution could be beneficial for the higher good. The recent past has taken a toll on this esteemed trust with most associating its name as a cursed institution. Let us together collectively work towards eliminating the S and providing a forever cured institution for the benefit of the community members and generations to come. Many are grateful to the Bombay Parsi Panchayat for all that it has done for the last 350 years and we are sure that the community will only benefit from it for centuries to come.